Hey guys, Faxenody here from Ocean Swift Synthesis, and I'd like to show you a little bit about our new synth for the Sonic Core Fusion platform, the Ocean Storm. Now, the Storm is a two oscillator synth uh, with two filters as well built inside, lots of modulation, um, distortion, uh, unison, and some other cool stuff going on. So, first of all, the OSC section um, is, it, like I said, it's a two OSC setup um, with a little bit different controls on each oscillator. Um, the reason behind it is that, that OSC 1 is providing FM and sync uh, to OSC 2. So, the controls are a little bit different. OSC 1 has uh, additionally an envelope, while OSC 2 has just the LFO for pitch modulation. And OSC 1 also has a button that allows it to go into free running uh, frequency mode as opposed to incoming MIDI. And this is really cool to get all sorts of weird and sort of metallic and different sorts of effects type of FM sounds. Um, and both OSCs can also be put into 8-bit mode, which kind of um, crunches them up just a little bit. Uh, sometimes it's kind of hard to hear. You have to kind of get a, a, um, a tone that works well with the 8-bit mode, but sometimes you will get really surprising and punchy results out of um, just turning on uh, this button. So like I said, um, you can sync oscillator 2 to your oscillator 1 via this knob over here. Um, and then oscillator, uh, and then you can also uh, um, control the amount of FM coming from oscillator one to oscillator two. And the FM section as well has also an envelope button, which allows the FM to either go straight up, the sound, the frequency of OSC one, the wave is modulating the frequency of OSC two, or you can have it pass through this little envelope over here, which is the OSC uh, or FM envelope. The second button on the FM section is the sharp button, which kind of um, changes the tonality of the FM a little bit. Um, different, different kind of, just a different way the FM behaves, uh, and you get a, a result, a different resulting FM sound from just uh, knocking this button on. So the FM is really sharp, uh, really a highlight of the synth, the tones that you can get. So you can get really dissonant sort of stuff, um, but you can also get really clean stuff from the synth. Now you notice that really big sweep, that obviously comes from the filter, and like I mentioned, um, the synth has two filters actually inside. Uh, and the filters are not related to the oscillators, so you have OSC 1 and 2 and filter A and B. Uh, the reason is exactly that, that they're not related. The OSC section um, is mixed, uh, you can, and then it gets ring modulated if you wanted to. And then you can add noise if you want to. And then this whole OSC section goes into the filters. Now the filters are arranged, over here you have a mix for them. They're arranged either in a serial or parallel uh, configuration and you can decide just by clicking over here. In serial mode, obviously the filter mix will do nothing because in serial mode uh, the sound comes from the oscillators, goes into filter A and from filter A into filter B. But if you're in parallel mode, you can mix the sound of the different filters. Filters themselves are a are the Sonic Core um, what is what they call the Poly filter. This is technology that um, we received and we're um, implemented inside of this device. So that means that each one of these filters is actually a bank of 25 filter types that you can choose from. Uh, a lot of um, kind of the known, the usual suspect, you know, two pole low pass, four pole low pass, six pole low pass with uh, resonant variation um, and the same for high pass and band pass. But then you got some interesting stuff like some swept EQ, um, even a phaser, uh, which is pretty cool because it's not often you get a phaser that actually responds to like, for example, for the for, to an envelope. Which is really cool, I think. Um, and the setup that 
you have two filters. Obviously, you can do a lot of stuff if you've um, checked out um, multi-filter stints before. Um, as well as you can just use the second filter to sculpt a little bit of a sound. If you're using one filter, for example, on low pass, this is just a little tip. And you get like a really heavy sound and you can just use the second filter as a little bit of a high pass. That's cool too. You have a ton of options over here with the filters. Each filter's um, output section then goes through a really mild and soft kind of distortion. Uh, even on maximum mount, it's not that harsh. But again, um, it's really nice if you go like in the first kind of uh, one-fourth and one-third area and give it just a little bit of a boost, as you see here. Uh, each filter also has, uh, this is something really nice, I think, about the synth, that each filter has its own envelope and its own LFO. As you see in general, the entire synth is on the front panel. There is no paneling, there is no looking around, and there's usually one modulator for one control, you know? Everything is straight up, and you have a lot of stuff going on. So each filter, like I said, has its own envelope and its own LFO. Uh, now let's talk a little bit about the envelopes and the LFOs. So uh, it's an ADSR envelope on either filter, as well as the amp, fil as the amp envelope. Each envelope um, has a slope, knob that lets you kind of curve it a little bit and get diff many different kind of responses to the, the decay and to the release. A velocity knob, which is bipolar, you can have velocity control, the, en the uh, overall um, volume of the envelope uh, in, in, a, in a bipolar way. And you have a demod knob. Now you might have asked yourself what this does. Well, I don't know if I can get a good example out of this one. Let's see. What the D-Mod does is, let's say you have a short sound. It randomly adds a little bit of a burst to the decay. And that could be to, to any one of these envelopes. Uh, you can add that burst to the decay of the amp and either one of the filters. Okay, it's much easier to hear it if you run a sequence, by the way. So, this is one little pro tip. Let's see. So I'm just running a sequence now. So each time you hear a little bit of a longer note, Pretty cool stuff. So that's just a small example of how it works. Um, if you try it out for yourself, you'll get really cool results. <clears throat> and I assure you about that. Like the D-Mod is one of the coolest things that I think about this synth. Really gives it a dynamic character. Um, maybe it's not really for guys that are kind of like playing for keyboardists, but if you're making electronic music, it's a, it's, it's a really cool random element that isn't too intrusive, you know? Um, and you get really cool results with this, so I encourage you to experiment with the D-Mod. So let's move on a little bit. <coughs> um, the LFOs, uh, as you can see on the pitch and on both of the filters, they all have their own full-fledged LFO. Uh, this LFO um, can be synced to MIDI, and you also have a little mild button, which kind of smoothens out a little bit. Some Sometimes you get like a, on the random LFO, steppiness so it kind of smooths out the steppiness a little bit and you can try to use that <coughs> if you feel that you're getting kind of um, like spikes or cuts in the f in the filter or in the, the pitch switches it really kind of um, fixes fixes that issue so um, let's move on to the main controls so another cool thing about the synth is the unison let's try to find So like I said, this is a five voice synth on the P on the PCI board. So on the PCI, you can't really play uh, really big uh, chords uh, with a lot of unison because uh, they steal your voices. But even on one fingered, if you play kind of fingered pads, you get really cool stuff. just move on straight over to the effects section um, you have <coughs> I'm sorry you have a panner 
which is synced you have a really cool and deep phaser which is free running a trans gate you also have the demod option on the trans gate So without the demod it would be Now you hear every time you hear it a little bit more open it's the demod giving it some some uh, dynamics a chorus over here and a stereo delay So let's look at some of the sounds real quickly that you can get. So you can make anything from pads to effects, to sort of leads and passes. around with it a little bit. Give just to give you a little bit of an idea what you can do. Now I'm, not, now I'm not playing the correct BPM. If you notice the delay is out of sync and now it's gonna be in sync.
So this is the Ocean Storm, um, check out the demo, you can download the demo and check it out for yourself and you can grab it um, via the Sonic Core web shop. So thanks for checking this out and I hope you like this machine. See ya!